Hi, I'm Jan and I'm part of the Maranatha Community Church and um, I'd like to share a bit of my testimony. Testimony means a bit about my life story, especially in connection with Christian Christian things. And the, partly the reason why I want to do this is that there's a um, verse in the Bible that says that they overcame him, meaning Satan, the devil, by the word of the testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Now to un unpack that a bit, that means that um, there's a war out there and um, the devil is real and they overcame the devil. We overcame Satan by the word of their testimony, by the things we say, by our things that we know to be true, things that we absolutely hold as standard and by the blood of the Lamb, meaning Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified, who shed his blood, who died and has risen and is alive today. And it's in his living life that I can stand here today and say my story, because I know that I have overcome Satan because of what Jesus has done for me. I haven't been brought up a Christian. In fact, I was brought up without any religion at all. Um, I was brought up um, abroad, born in Chile, lived in Argentina, did my teenage years in the States until I was a troubled teenager and um, and the courts found that it was better that I moved to England to a boarding school. But in the States I was uh, a lot of trouble and um, I was a lost soul. I was um, searching for love, I was searching for truth, I was searching for meaning, I was searching for anything and unfortunately I looked in the wrong places. I looked in relationships and I looked in drugs and um, and I was quite heavily into into all the things I shouldn't be but I wasn't into school and I wasn't into being a good girl. Anyway, um, one thing that I did discover during those troubled years was that there's a spiritual world that exists. Yes, Perhaps the drugs opened my mind to things that shouldn't have done at the time. But I discovered that there was a real, real spiritual world out there and it was anybody's game out there. And um, I, consequently, I looked into all manner of New Age philosophies. I, um, I dabbled in the occult. I was just a lost girl searching. In my heart I wanted um, love, I wanted good things, but yet I found myself behaving in a manner that was not good and consequently um, I was doing things and um, behaving in a manner that was not godly, was not good and actually was very, very shameful. I look back now at the person that I was and I think that was another person but actually it was me a lost crying girl when I got a bit older and was still crying out searching looking for for love looking for truth I um I I was in the Isle of Wight at the time and uh, an old friend who had become a Christian and had known me throughout the many years because when we were abroad in, in Argentina and the States we always used to come back to England to the Isle of Wight for my father's home leave because um, he was from the Isle of Wight. So when anyway, I was talking to Fiona, Fiona if you're watching, hi and thank you so much for all your love and care that you showed me in those days. And um, Fiona said she wanted to, to tell me about Jesus and, um, and that was a revelation to me because I, had, I knew that God was real, I knew that the devil was real from my spiritual experiences, but Jesus, what did he have to do with anything? She explained how he was the way that, through which I could um, find peace with God. He was the, the way through which there is truth. And he was the truth, in fact, and um, and she exhorted me to to maybe think about Jesus. And um, when I started in Bath University, I went along to a Christian union, and Don Latham spoke. He's a man who's loved and known by many, gone to be with Jesus now. And he t he told me about about Jesus, and something happened. An exchange happened, wherein I I found that I was uh, taking that leap and saying, "Okay, Jesus, if you're the way, I I I go, and I am 
I don't want to be part of what I was part of before. I certainly don't want to be part of um, anything to do with the devil. And um, I want to be on God's side. I want to know freedom. I want to know truth. And so there was an exchange that took place. And I said to God, my life, please. I'll give you my life. And, and so I did. Uh, surprised a little bit later, a few hours later, when there was a battle that began. And um, quite literally, I was being choked and the spirits and um, the demonic realm out there was not happy that they were they were losing one of their own and um, and it was quite dramatic and um, and anyway it, it resulted in some prayer and me being set totally free and the, the chains fell off. My life since then has been one of regaining back the lost years that Satan had taken away, that I had allowed him to take away, that I had given him. And um, and I have needed some prayer. Um, I've needed some deliverance. By that I mean where where I've been tangled up, I've needed God to set me free and, and find the peace. And I can say that God is real. Jesus is alive. He wants to come into your life too. He wants to set you free. And... Um, I can stand in testimony and say that Jesus Christ is the way, he is the truth, he is the life, he gives freedom, he gives peace, he gives new life and um, it's something worth saying and it's something worth shouting about and if there's anything within your life that you know you're bound, you know that Satan has a grip of you, you know you're not in freedom, well I exhort you to, to seek some prayer turn to a Christian friend or their contact details at the end of this video that you can write in. I've only given a tiny bit of my story because it is, it is long, but the thing that I want you to know is that I have found Jesus to be a saviour and a true saviour and to bring life and freedom and joy and happiness and um, that's the place he's brought me into. So God bless you all. Thank you for listening. Amen.